You're such a good boy. All I gotta do now, water the plants, and then I can pile up and eat my paper. Good. I'll see you after my PT appointment. Right. I love you. I love you too. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, so kiss. So Johnny. Hi. And I are headed to camp. Well, you have an awesome day. So do you, Mom. I hear they're doing a water balloon battle today. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, he needed an extra set of clothes. Master Jim! Bye, Mom. Bye-bye, buddy. You have an awesome day. Love you. <laughs> I'm glad he's having fun at camp. That's what summer's about. Taking a much-needed break from math. <laughs> well, I got Johnny dropped off at camp and I am headed to my physical therapy appointment. Yep, I had just enough time to get across the street through all of the construction to get over here on time. Well, she worked me pretty hard. Uh, some new exercises to tighten my core. She says I'm going to get tired of hearing her say that. It's basically the muscles below your belly button versus the six packs above. And um, it's harder than you think to work those muscles. So, she did some heat at the end and that felt good. I am headed to catch up with the Fuquay Pokemon Go Raid Battle group people to try to catch the new legendary. I thought it was Reg Ice, but Johnny tells me it's Reggie Ice. So anyway, it looks like a robot and we want him bad. Well, there were 18 of us over there at Aviator and there are two gyms there. Um, and uh, Reggie Ice, as Johnny pronounces it, or Regis, as Miss Kelly says, or Reg Ice, as I thought. I don't know what you call this legendary. Um, he hatched at both gyms, so we did a double battle. And I got him in the first battle, and Johnny got him in the second battle. And there's one more on the way to the house, so I'm going to go battle and help those that didn't get him already because it's can you know it's convenient and it's the right thing to do but I'm super excited that my robot boy now has the robot Pokemon so I stopped in at the little shop that I parked by and <clears throat> I think you'll understand why I'm bringing this flag home with me when I was doing the battle at the aviator I spotted this mural over here that I didn't even know was in Fuquay learn something new every day I'd like to get a picture of Ruby in front of it, but um, parking's not conducive to doing that right now, so maybe I'll come back another time. So just a little while ago, I saw the hawk down on the driveway, and I managed to get to my car, get the Canon 70D with the 300 millimeter lens, and take his picture, sort of. Hopefully, it turned out. So my day today started out with this. Yeah, I went outside time number two to see Tux. He was confused. I've moved his food bowl a little farther away from the house out of the sun in the summer. And um, I'm guessing it's some sort of, there's actually two bites. I'm guessing it was an ant, but not a fire ant. Maybe a black, one of those big black ants. I'm highly allergic. It doesn't matter what bites me. Anyway, that started off my day, but um, it hurts more than it itches. It itches a little bit summertime in North Carolina. Lots of bugs. Thank you. You're welcome. Pretty Don's watering one of my plants that's wilted. Yep. We need rain. Yep. Earth. More rain. Yes. Nice and hot and toasty here. At least it's not humid. Real bad humid. I'll see you later, Donnie. All right. Good luck, sweetie. Thank you. So I'm in Ruby with a dual purpose right now. Number one, to go get Johnny from camp, but really to go to our normal Friday late afternoon early evening taekwondo class and then Johnny and I have makeup testing for our next uh, black tip piece of electrical tape on our belt yeah the regular testing was last Saturday and that didn't work out so um we're gonna test tonight so it's gonna be a long a long evening with the class and then the testing but it is what it is over there to my left is where they pave the uh, turn lane for uh, Holland Road here in the new condominium complex, Holland Station, that's going in in Fuquay. Looks like they've got another layer to put on top at some point, but uh, they did put the first uh, layer of asphalt down. There's Johnny. You should uh, check out your Pokemon, buddy. I think you will be pleased. <laughs> Not one, but two. 
two. You yeah. got two, I've got one. Well, Johnny and I both passed our testing, but we got some bad news at Taekwondo tonight. Master One, who's been with us for 14 months, a year and two months, she is going to Texas to work with Master Hong, who was previously at our school for seven years, starting out and went and opened his first uh, business for himself down in uh, the Woodlands, Texas. And he needs another master there. His business is thriving. And so, um, yeah, Master One is going. It's uh, with great sadness. Really, um, you know, just uh, last night I was partnered with her and having a great time. And I, she was always so encouraging. So Johnny and I are both sad about that. Well, I didn't drive very far today, but I'm going to plug her in anyway, just in case we get up to something fun tomorrow. I should just add that Johnny is away again for the weekend. Um, he'll be home next weekend with his mom. Uh, generally, it's every other weekend, but um, Mother's Day in May and Father's Day in June causes some changes in the schedule. And uh, yeah, at least it's not so hard when he's out of school and... I get to spend a lot of time with him, but I do, you know, miss him for sure when he's away. So, um, it'd just be me and Don having fun this weekend. So, I got as far today as, um, getting everything off the table and getting stuff down out of the attic, but I didn't get the stuff put out. So, this is tomorrow's project, and I'm sticking to it.